I'm Richard Greed, president of HVACforbeginners.com. We welcome you to another one of our uh, instructional videos. We just hope that uh, it is a great help to you. Uh, feel free to use this. Uh, we ask that it not be used for commercial purposes or embedded on other people or companies' websites. Thank you. So, now we're going to look at contactors. This is a typical contactor found in an air conditioner. This is a two-pole 40 amp contactor, which is the ratings of it. The two-pole means there's two movable contacts. Uh, the way that, that any contactor works is, is a control voltage is supplied to it. Uh, residential system typically come 24 volts coming from the thermostat goes to a coil of wire. The coil of wire when power is supplied to it produces a magnetic field. There's a plunger inside here that uh, when the coil produces a magnetic field it attracts the pl metal plunger and that plunger is connected to these movable contacts. When the plunger moves the contacts move causing them to close just like that. Um, contact, contactors are rated according to their control voltage, 24 volts, 120 volts, etc. They're also uh, rated according to the voltage that they will carry for the load as well as the amps that the, the load can draw. Uh, another type is a single pole contactor. The, as you can see the main difference of them is one of the movable contacts is replaced by just a bus bar connecting the two different contact points. The uh, normal part of air conditioner maintenance is to uh, check the movable and fixed contacts, make sure they're not burnt, bent, charred, kind of melted looking. That'll happen over time. Uh, if it is, it should be replaced. The normal problems that you'll have with a contactor will be one of two types. You'll have a mechanical failure which is normally caused by when it's not replaced with bad contacts. What will happen then is uh, when the contacts close they'll draw excessive current and will actually arc and basically weld the fixed and movable contacts together and then uh, they'll it'll just stay that way. The plunger won't go back to normal whenever the thermostat tells it to stop. You'll usually notice it with the fact that uh, you cannot uh, shut your air conditioner off at the thermostat. The only way you can shut it off is turn power off to the air conditioner. Uh, the electrical way that the contactor can fail is usually the coil will go bad. It's uh, simple to check with a simple volt ohm meter. Set it for resistance, put uh, one lead on each of the connectors for the coil, take a resistance reading. Your typical reading will be between 10 and 20 ohms on uh, one of these contactors. If it's significantly different, then the contactor should be replaced. Uh, if you uh, have problems and you call a repairman out to uh, to find and replace this, it's going to cost you anywhere from $150 to $200 or more depending on uh, the time of day that it happens. Uh, you can buy these for less than $50 and do it yourself with some simple safety precautions. Like uh, first thing you do, shut off the power to the air conditioner. Make sure it's off. Verify it with the meter. Make sure it's off. Simple replacement. Just mark the wires that are connected to each terminal and uh, where they go, disconnect them, remove the old contactor, put the new one in place, put the wires back where you took them off, turn the power back on, do an operational check, make sure it works, save you a lot of money doing it yourself. Hope it's been a help.